What is going on, guys? DJ PRS here, and welcome to the Weapon of Choice podcast. Say hey, yay, everybody! Yay! Kyle, insert a laugh track. Yay! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, comedy at its purest. <laughs> Kill me, please. Yeah. <laughs> Just We're started. off to a great start already. Fuck. <laughs> let's just copy. Let's just copy cold ones. My name is Jeff. Okay, that's it. We're done for the day. <laughs> I'll, well, if I'm editing, I'll bleep it. Okay. All right. So, but on 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 a real thing though, welcome to the Weapon of Choice podcast. I am your host today, DJ PRS, and with us we have Sombra. Say say what's up, Sombra. Hey guys. And we got Kyle. Hey guys. Alright, so hey. uh, uh, if you guys haven't noticed um, in the past few videos, Kyle is the new editor. So, yay, everybody give a round of applause to Kyle. Yay. Yay. Who is this man? By the time this video comes out, none of the other videos have been posted yet, so yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost done with the first one. Yeah, no, I, I, gave him, I gave him a test run, and he's editing six hours worth of footage to put it to one hour. So, he's a. Uh, he, well, it's probably, it's probably gonna be like an hour, hour and a half, hour forty-five. 20. Uh, I'd say probably hour twenty now. One twenty, blaze it! Yay! No, so uh, because it is because of how cringe the video was, uh, Kyle's now up to three packs a day. Um, <laughs> it's not and my three bottles. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, him, and the, the the front desk lady are uh, best friends now. <laughs> she she gives him pity discounts on alcohol. Oh God, no! <laughs> She's like, "Oh man, you're here again. This is the third time this day." I'm only twenty percent done. <laughs> he just opens the door and just goes, "I'm blah, blah, blah. all right, Kyle. Here's your next bottle." I'm blah, 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 and just slides <laughs> off the door. <laughs> I know, but uh, so we, we have an interesting topic to talk about today. Um, give, given how quarantine is, and well, quarantine, just the pandemic in general. Some people are still in quarantine. Some people are going outside wearing face masks, and some people are caring. Simple as that. Um, or Floridans. Yeah, or or you're just in Florida and you hate the rest of the world. So uh, the main the main thing about well, in the during the pandemic is that you there's like no good movies out to watch right now. You know. TV shows are kind of getting bland, but we can always fall back on anime. anime. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, part of some anime seasons have been delayed due to pandemic. Yes, but that's also giving people to watch anime that I've been out for years, but never got the chance to look at them or, you know, just glance at, at a single time. Because they're like, oh no, this anime looks like shit, but then they watch it, they're like, oh my god, how come nobody told me about this anime? When ninety five percent of your friend group is like, "Hey, have you seen this anime yet?" Attack on Titan. JoJo's what? <laughs> we fucking losers. Okay, yeah, no. So, <laughs> so I have I, I I took an anime hiatus for a while just because I I I wait for series to end and then I binge the whole series because at that point I don't want to watch an anime and then. Like get really hype up and like in the roller coaster and then be stuck in the middle and be like, okay, um, I have to wait like three more months or a year for the rest of this to come out. I'm, I'm kind of depressed. <laughs> so, um, prime example. Oh, show blues. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, prime example would be like Boku no Hero Academia, Doctor Stone, Food Wars. You know, it's, it's those shows where like a lot of people are watching them. And some people are like, hey, it's Tuesday. Like, we have to catch the new episode. While I'm over here like, don't you fucking say another word because I am waiting for the, se for the season to end and then I'll watch it. And then Facebook is like, bunny girl waifu. Look at tits. And I'm like, oh, great. Shit. Now I know there's a new character in the series. Hmm. So during the pandemic, what have you guys been watching? Actually, I'm still working. <laughs> the only thing I've been, <laughs> I've been working, but when I'm off, I kind of see if I can uh, watch some God of High School, which has been pretty interesting to me. 
I think I both you, both you guys just finished uh, watching Kind of Super together, right? Well, I I I've seen it like twice dubbed or no twice subbed once dubbed before I made him watch the whole thing. Okay, real quick, we're gonna put a disclaimer. We don't yeah. watch dubbed in this group. You, no, I watched dub because eat, it's the dub is actually pretty well done. You Western normie, f all right? Hey, I, I watched the sub twice. Okay, first. and that one dub nullified all of it. Okay. And God, then I well, watched. Well, well, nobody needs your nobody needs your biased ass opinion here either. Okay. Okay, first of all, we're gonna pull up the filthy Frank thing right now. Is oh, guy goes to guys goes to Japan and goes, where's the soul finals? That's you, okay? That's you, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, this is why Kiss Anime died. <laughs> Just <happened>. Good. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. You don't know what Kiss Anime is? Is this some pirate site? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. For for the stuff that for the stuff that for the stuff that Crunchyroll and Funimation don't uh, like show. Um, no, so so you guys watch Konosuba. So the the, the main thing I want to ask you guys, and and this can be the funniest thing, the most embarrassing thing, or the thing that you're most proud of. How old were you when you saw your first anime, and did you let your friends know, or did you just keep it to yourself? So let's go. Let's go with Eric first. Eric, what was the first anime right. that you saw? First anime that I saw was probably Sailor Moon. Okay, how old were you? I was like five or six. All right. Um, yeah, my one of my cousins was watching, so I just joined her on that. And um, when you had like your first like official friend group, did anybody else in that friend group watch anime? Or were you the only one? I was pretty much the only one. Now, did you did you like tell your friends about anime, or did you kind of keep it to yourself and then like let yeah, your? I didn't even know what it was. I just thought it was a show and just kept it at that. You just thought it was just a cartoon. Yep. So, when you first realized what anime was and like the genres and forms, were you like in middle school, high school? Um, I was probably in high school. What about you, Kyle? What was your first anime? I'd probably have to say, um, I'd probably have to say Pokemon. So now, Let's 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 tell that into consideration. I, I people say right. that certain anime or certain Japanese animations are not considered anime for the reason of it's promoted in the in the West and certain places like Disney, Nickelodeon, and Country Network promote. Prime example would be Pokemon, Avatar, um, Yu Gi Oh. And what was so, it? Digimon? Digimon. So would you consider like would you personally consider those anime or would you consider those just cartoons? I still well that's gonna be a whole nother argument. Uh because, I, only, I, only I because right, it's, right, it's promoted. Right, I consider all right. I'm gonna piss off a lot of people. I consider anime cartoons. In general. In general, yeah. Just because of yeah, it's either hand drawn or digitally made, not using a lot of CGI. Yeah, but then fucking that gets into the CGI argument. But we're just sticking with cartoon versus anime. I consider anime a cartoon. However, uh, well, we're it's a looking style. for we're it's looking a style for a new cartoon. artist. Uh, we're looking for a new video editor. Um, so if you guys want to put your <laughs> resumes down, I'm gonna send the email down below. No. <laughs> All right, I'm holding your foot captive then god damn okay never mind so anime <laughs> and cartoons everybody yay everybody, <laughs> yay uh who <laughs> this man well all right well if we go like all right if if we don't go with that argument i'd say pokemon if we do go with that argument fuck it's probably not until like uh i moved out to like uh 
Buckeye before I actually watch anime anime I like a uh, Adult Swim. Okay. So that was back when I was like eighth grade friend. Oh, okay. So yeah, high school, end of middle school, beginning of high school. Yeah. Now, did you have friends that brought you into that, or did you kind of just catch up on your own through the internet? Uh, neither. I just watch a lot of Cartoon Network because uh, I just moved. I didn't talk to anyone. I really didn't have friends until maybe I want to say sophomore of high school until they started just saying hanging out with people and stuff. Alright, well, if the first anime that I saw that I didn't know was an anime until I was older, uh, it was Inuyasha. And that was only because uh, when I was younger, my family, we lived in a one-bedroom apartment for a while. And the, the TV was on in the living room, and during the weekends, I was able to stay up as long as I wanted, and then I would sleep in the living room. Like, so, so I was playing video games and stuff. And I had Cartoon Network on, and uh, back then, it was the beginning of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Mm -hmm. And then I fell asleep, and I woke up, and the Tsunami was on. And it was Inuyasha, and I, and I just, I always remember, like, oh, it's it's early. Like, Inuyasha played around, like, 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I was like, oh, I should be back in bed. <laughs> so I would just turn <laughs> off the TV and just go, like, go to bed. But, um, so I didn't know that was an anime until I was, like, in high school. And they were like, oh, yeah, Inuyasha. I'm like, what the hell is Inuyasha? They show him like, oh shit, he was on TV. Yeah, White Wolf Boy. Yeah, um, but still to this day, I still haven't fully watched any Asha. Like, I have no idea why. I know it's a good anime. That and Yu Yu Hakusho, I still have not seen those completely. Um, so you're still just as watching Yu Yu Hakusho. Shit. Yu Yu um, Hakusho over in Yu Asha. It's shorter. It's a lot shorter. <laughs> Okay. There, and there's more. There's actually more story rather than just. It. Inuyasha is more serialized, like uh, probably say more like One Piece. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, well, they had to create a two part to it as well. Yeah, I don't even know if there is an ending to Inuyasha yet. yet. There is. All right, I got bored with the show and just said, "Fuck it." But in elementary school, I was this young blood right here. I was introduced to Naruto from my cousin. That actually, all right, that's probably when I started. Like, all right, this, I like this shit. When Naruto started showing on uh, Toonami. Yeah. So, but here's the thing. For me, I didn't watch it on Toonami. My, I, my cousin was babysitting me at one point. It was, it was, he was babysitting me and his brother, and we would go. I, I would go over to my uncle's house. And we would play Def Jam Fight for New York on his modded Xbox, right? Hell yeah. But one of these days, he was like, all right, little Joey, uh, you can play after you watch this movie. And I'm like, hmm. okay. So he sits me in front of his laptop. And it's and it's the Naruto and the Snow Princess one. Oh, God, no. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he was like, he's like, just watch this. He's like, he's like, this movie just came out, and it was it was subbed, and I'm like over here sitting, I'm like, what the fuck? I have to read. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and then that's when I saw Naruto do like the fucking Rasengan guy for the first time. I was like, all right, you know, this shit is dope. What is this? And he was like, oh, he's like, cousin, this is Naruto. I'm like, you gotta keep watching it. So that's when I got like really into anime, and I had a weird ass group of friends. And 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 this is gonna go into a like a little TLDR. I had a weird ass group of elementary school friends, and Naruto was my first anime. But I was introduced to anime way before that, and I didn't even know. Um, I, I met this kid named Kenny, right? Kenny Price. Shout out to Kenny Price. He was a dope ass kid. Him and his two sisters, they were all fucking weeps. Like, hardcore weeps. <laughs> Every kid in that house owned a PlayStation 2, 
and they all owned their own copies of Kingdom Hearts 1. And they all owned individual copies of the Dot Hat series. They're cool. Yeah, so <laughs> when I ever when I, when I went over to his house, mind you, this is in third, fourth grade, right? Mm -hmm. I go over to his house. First of all, their house is like an episode of Hoarders. And yeah. my mom, my my mom used to be scared to drop me off there. And before before I can even like go and like relax back at my apartment, my mom was like, "Take off your clothes here and go in the fucking shower." Like that's how bad it was. <laughs> Bruh. But but when I was over at Kenny's house, the sisters were playing Dot Hack One. That's where I learned about Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Hell yeah. And, and I was like, oh my god, this dude has two daggers. He's a fucking badass. And um, they gave me my first copy of Kingdom Hearts 1. So I was like, alright, this, this dude's awesome. So I was playing those games on my PlayStation 2, not knowing what anime was. And then I was bought I had my dad take me to Game Crazy, and I would buy and I bought all the other copies of Dot Hack. And then when Naruto came out. All the kids in that group with Kenny and them, we would uh, we would imitate Naruto characters in the playground because we were badass. But but one of the but one of the kids, his name was Andrew, and he was a little more a little bit more mature for his age, and he discovered hentai way before all of us did. <laughs> And I kid you not, this dude specifically learned hand sign by hand sign the sexy jutsu. <laughs> so that he fucking shit. I'm, I'm, I'm just putting this nigga, I'm just putting this nigga on blast. <laughs> so we would all imitate us doing fireball jutsus and shadow clone jutsu, and he's like, and now I have big breasts. <laughs> <laughs> I Bruh <laughs> I hold I, I hold no regrets of saying this This dude scarred me For a good like year and a half <laughs> Because at that time li Little Joey was full of innocence He didn't know what He didn't know what new ground was He didn't know what T45 OL was Or T45 RL or rule 34. Oh, no, no, it was it was a website. It was a website that had flash games, and I had a whole bunch of games from Newgrounds that Newgrounds took down. So Oh, okay. Yeah, so I think it was like T45 OL or T54. It was one of those websites. And it wasn't until fifth grade where that same kid Andrew was like, go to this website and you can play this Naruto game and you can have sex with Sakura. <laughs> so so your boys over here like Bro, looking that no. shit the fuck up real quick uh, and it was, it was the first ever Naruto dating sim I ever played going to the deep shit now and uh, and there was no turning back <laughs> he made you the person that you are now yeah oh yeah he's, he's the reason why I'm fucked up he's the reason Bring why my my therapist canceled on me. <laughs> I was gonna say my I was gonna say uh well, my first experience with Kingdom Hearts was I think my friend was playing like, oh this is cool. Wait, is that Goofy? Is that Donald? This is fucking Fuck, I don't even know how old I was. I need to double check. You were old enough. <laughs> I'm double checking. Uh, yeah, I was like uh, 14 or 15. I can't believe that you guys are older than me, like by a few years. Yeah. I need to hang out with people my own age. <laughs> Fucking Kyle's almost in his 40s. <laughs> Eric's about 62. 
Actually, I think I am slightly older than Eric. By a few months. Yeah, by a few months. So I'm 62. Both you guys both served in Vietnam next to Forrest Gump and Bubba. You fucking, you could. guys were Forrest Gump and Bubba. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? <laughs> Eric made it out alive. And I didn't? One more year! <laughs> One more year! I ain't got no legs. I ain't got no legs. That doesn't right, have any legs. Uh, so that 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 let's let's kind of get back on track here. So this brings me back to another segment of uh, you know follow up. What was the first like either hentai or edgy or just fucked up anime you guys saw that you know that you can't get out of your head? For me, it was Elf and Lead. See, I, I was too late for that to really scar me that bad. I mean, the intro song still gives me the willies, but... Hmm. God, I'm trying to think. Because I drink too much to be scarred by things. <laughs> so you were drinking as a kid as well? Or as <laughs> no! No! No, um... Were you imitating your dad on Halloween? <laughs> God damn it. I uh, keep... <laughs> well, the video... That video is probably released by the time this comes out. Yeah. All right. Um... Like, the first hentai or etchy or something that's... Fuck, it was actually probably from Newgrounds. It was a, one of the dating sims. Did everybody here play Frank's Adventure? Is Frank's Adventure... Oh! Is, you mean like Frank from like Seinfeld or something? Uh, Wait, no. no. That's, that's a different one. Frank's Adventure... No, I don't... Frank, Frank's Adventure was like the top RPG where um, you had to find Polaroid photos or else sell them to a magazine. It was, it was that and Pico... Those are the two biggest games on, on uh, New Grounds. I think I played Frank's because I remember looking for photos. What but, about uh. You? What about you, Eric? Gondro Girl. That's it. That's the first, like, dating sim. And I didn't even play it. It was my friend that played it, and I watched him. First of all, normalized watching hentai with the homies. <laughs> Did you play any of those Newground games, Eric? Um, I have, but I forgot the names of them. Though. Uh, I played Love Hina Super Hentai. Hentai. I can't speak. Yeah, cause that's, cause that's because you're drunk already. I'm only on two. <laughs> um. Uh, for me, I, I think I played that Naruto one as well. It was, it was a pretty, it was a pretty like easy one to find out. Uh, but the one yeah. that I saw that that fucked me up and probably actually did make me who I am today, Andrew, the same dude, who told me to look up Bible Black. Oh, oh, how could I forget Bible Black? Fuck. So that was a right, I, I, that I, was a eleven year old Joe. All right, trigger. <laughs> I'll put a trigger warning on this because that fuck. I yeah. forgot about Bible Black. Yeah, so, so imagine an eleven-year-old Joe looking up on a family friend's computer what Bible Black was. Bruh, that's like old school. Watch Poker No Pico. There's a story to that, by the way, for Poker No Pico. Um, we're gonna talk about it, but we might have to just cut it out of the video completely. Yeah, so Boku Boku no Pico is a big no-no, um, especially especially now with the way how 2020 is and with anime or just anything in general, like it'd be considered like some some type of phobia or some type of disrespect, and then everybody's canceled. Hell, we might get canceled. It was a good run. <laughs> it was fuck it. Let's go there. It was it was good. <laughs> but um. <laughs> 
did you guys join any clubs? Anything in reference to anime back in the day? Um, Gaia Online. That's Gaia about Online. it. That's what you did. Gaia. What about, what about Gaia? you, Eric? Nah, no clubs or anything like that. I, when, I knew I knew there was a club for was that show Go exclamation mark with the uh, they're playing like Othello or whatever. Oh, I know what you're talking about. That that was like the only club around when we were in high school, but yeah. that's the only club I knew about. I don't know what the fucking game's called over there. No, it's called Go. Oh, I just thought the show was called Go. I was the I was the president of my high school's anime club for like a semester. Um, because but then so I had to. Hand tied, you got kicked out. No, I, I I was also in theater, so I had to choose theater over anime club. And people were mad because I had I had the I had money set aside for to help pay for a Roku box. So that we can watch anime like after school. Um, I'm just like, no fuck, I'm going to theater, bro. Yeah, I, I was I was aiming to become a thespian, so I want I wanted that that scholarship. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, but did you guys ever play what was it, Dragon Quest? Not Dragon Quest, uh, Battle Battle Quest. It was the the computer game. Or Adventure Quest, that's what it was called. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, that was that was what uh I was in the Boys and Girls Club as a kid as well. And when we had computer time, that's what we played. We played Adventure Quest and then we went on Cartoonwork.com and we played the Samurai Jack game where if you knew the if you knew the cheat codes or the, the codes to get those secret weapons. You remember what game I'm talking about? I played the I hell out of Adventure about. Quest. I played that shit during work. <laughs> so, you said during work? What the fuck? Well, you know, on break and shit. Uh, the Samurai Jack Cartoon Network. Well, I, I knew Cartoon Network had games like that. I just never played them because I was already on Newgrounds. Hold of the Samurai, that's that. what it was called. I was playing that Teen Titans fighting game on CartoonNetwork.com when it was Yeah, up. that was a good one, too. Oh, shit, you were. <laughs> Bro, did Car- Cartoon Network had the best games, though. Yeah, so, like, right here. Uh, well, back this back game right Cartoon, here. Cartoon Fridays. You don't remember this I'm gonna game I'm going to watch this while I'm going to log into Adventure Quest. <laughs> Do you remember any of this? Arctic Uh, so like, so like, you play the game or whatever, and then you had secret weapons, so you would go back and forth and shit. See, you, you remember this game at all? The game was so fucking dope. Other than that, like, so so now that we're all adults and we do we do big men things, what is yeah. your go what is your go to anime right now? And if somebody were to say, "Hey, I've never seen anime before. What should I watch?" What do you tell them? If they've never seen anime before, yeah, fuck. It depends. It depends on what they usually like to watch their shows in general. All right. Oh, so so, so where they watch their shows. So for starters, I would probably say. Hold on, let me, let, let me let me do it this way, right? So I'm going to give you guys scenario. I'm going to individually give you guys a scenario. Okay. And, and you right. need to come up with two anime, right? All right. So, all right. So Eric, I have never seen anime before, but I've seen shows like Survivor, Law and Order, and Dog the Bounty Hunter. What what anime would you what two anime would you recommend me? Probably One Piece and Case Closed. Okay. What's One Piece about? And how long is One Piece? 
<laughs> I think you already know the answer totally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck. The, the two longest fucking shows you recommend. Yep. Keeps them occupied, right? Okay. I, I, I can see that. Keep them occupied. They, they used to watching those long drawn out shows to begin with. All right. So, Kyle. Yeah. I have never seen anime before, but I'm, but I'm thinking about doing it. I watch a lot of Netflix shows, um, and I just got uh, I just got HBO, and I finished Game of Thrones. What would you recommend? Hmm. JoJo. I'm pretty sure you were saying JoJo and Konosuba, Kyle. I know you would say I, that. I, Konosuba was my first guess, but no. Uh, all right, so HBO, fucking Game of Thrones, specifically Game of, Game of Thrones. Thrones. All right, specifically Game of Thrones. What can I think of? Do you have Amazon Prime? Um, let's just assume that I do because I have Twitch Prime. Okay. Then I would actually suggest. Hold on, let me. I got to pull my list because I don't remember shit. Vinland Saga. Okay. So JoJo's and Vinland Saga. No, no, JoJo's was joke. Oh. Okay. I'd say Vinland Saga. And? and I'm sorry, you said HBO and that, so you're yeah. definitely used to more edgier shit. Hmm. Well, I'm just saying, like, I have those streaming services, so this is oh. what I watch, not specifically from those. This is what oh, I okay. I have those streaming oh, services in like, Amazon Prime because you have Twitch Prime and you also have HBO Go. May want to, I may want to put I, one out there for you, Go. Go ahead, because I don't have say, HBO. Oh, Boondocks. But that's not anime, dude. That's bland anime. <laughs> yeah. That's, um, bl- that's bland all right, anime. Go- all right. My say will say, how about this? Instead of us coming up with two, we each come up with one. So okay, I'll, so I'll say, say Vinland Saga. Yeah, Vinland Saga. And then I have said One Piece. I said either One Piece or... Uh, what's it? Oh, case closed. So, for me, after they tell me what shows they like, I completely disregard all of that, and I tell them, Naruto or Avatar? Avatar's my anime. Alright, how much time do you have? What do you mean? Wait, alright, so you have... Do you have Netflix? let's, Let's just assume that... We're recommending them anime for them to get into so that they'll actually put down like they'll get a free trial or a month of whatever. Exactly. Okay. So, so between it's, it's, especially in this generation and everybody during the pandemic, they either have Hulu or they have Netflix. It's it's a give and go. Okay. So general and and even though it's not anime, I always tell them to watch Avatar because after they watch Avatar, then you can you can bring them down the list because they yeah, already I, see the, I, I would, they I would see the, say, the animation style, the fighting style, the romance, and the drama. And then you go, oh, you like Avatar? Well, then maybe you'll like this or you'll like that. Do you want to see something a little bit more mature? Fits of the North Star. Do you want to see something a little bit more crazy? <laughs> JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Do you want to see something more raunchy? Ma- um, uh, Baki Moto no Gari. You know, like... The, the the Motonogari series, uh, all, all those. Hell yeah. you, you just you just bring them down the rabbit hole until next thing you know, the next time you see them, they got a fucking Naruto tattoo and they're eating Pocky every day. It's just one of those situations. Oh god, Eric, I don't eat Pocky. You, <laughs> you see a grown ass man with a fucking curse mark tattoo on their neck. It, it's it's just gonna be that way. That's true. Oh, so as, as far as intro series between. Naruto and Avatar, I'd say, yeah, Avatar. Or, I like to tell people, and this this is what I got certain people into anime. I'm like, hey, have you guys seen the movie Sky High? And they're like, oh, oh okay. And they're like, yeah, oh, hell I, I, yeah, I, I love Sky feeling. High. Then I'm like, okay, cool, there's this, there's this anime Academia. called My Hero Academia. And they're like, oh, anime. I'm like, yo, just watch it. And then they're like, holy shit, oh my, it's so fucking cool. This dude's half a fire, half a I was like, yeah, yeah, like... Shut the fuck up now. We get it. 
I still tear up at uh, United States of Smash. I still tear up at the word Smash in general, but that's a whole different podcast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't be part of that one. <laughs> uh, ice cubes, let's go! Yay! No, so um, you know, it's it's just it's just one of those things where anime is becoming so popular and so widely known. Like prime example. Netflix streams Neon Genesis Evangelion. Yeah, that. But like, anime. And my 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 dad, right? Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna go into another another fucking tangent. fucked up fucked up world of Joe Tangent. When I was also in college, I was re- I was really heavy into watching all the Bleach episodes, right? I I literally had I literally had every single episode of Bleach subbed on my hard drive. And in the living room, my TV could play the hard drive. So I would sit in the living room and I would watch Bleach. Well, as we all know, Bleach has a lot of fan service. Yes. Yeah. There was Wait, one character's existence was that. There was there was one episode where it was Orihime and Rangiku. The two the two big titted girls in the anime. Yeah. The, the 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 tiggle bitty twins, right? And I'm sitting there, and I'm just doing my thing, like I'm just chilling. I, th- I think I had a soda in my hand. I'm sitting there, and the shower scene comes in, and I'm not paying attention to nothing around me. My mom and dad just came back to the house, and I'm just watching. You know, my my sister fell asleep in the car, so my dad put it to sleep. My mom comes in the living room, and I'm chilling. TV's not loud. They're just talking, but it's like the mist of the shower and shit like that. And my mom goes, oh. And I'm like, oh, hey. And I just pause it. And she looks at me, and she goes, when the fuck are you going to get a girlfriend? (laughs) Bruh. Bruh, I turned the TV off so quick, and I just went to my room. Like, that, that was the Grand Theft Auto wasted moment right there. I was I was I was done for the night, my guy. But it, it came to a thing where even my dad was like, "Yo, this is this is nothing." And I'm like, "What do you mean?" And he's like, "I used to watch the Street Fighter, uh, the Street Fighter movies, and oh yeah, uh, and Fist of the North Star when I was your age." And and I'm like, "What?" And yeah, there's VHS tapes of the original Fist of the North Star and the Street Fighter Two movie. Don't see which, some of these nipples in there. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, okay, this is a show in an anime, and like nothing was shown. That's my dad. I was like, I don't. Know. He's like, he's like, there's more funny than anything in this, right? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, well, why is there Spanish in this? And I was like, I, I don't fucking like you, you. You lost me at that. Fucking white cold moon, though. <laughs> but uh, same man, anime, anime be wild, bro. But there's a show. It's like it's so mainstream. But even back in the day. You don't know, but our parents could have been watching it and only see, calling it a cartoon. Yeah. Like fucking Speed Racer. Eventually. Yeah, that, uh, that's <laughs> like when my parents were first aware of it. They yeah. said like, it was kind of funny to watch for them. And then, then our generation, we really didn't grow up with Speed Racer, but we grew up with Fairly Odd Parents. And Fairly Odd Parents had that whole anime episode and with the Speed Racer, the ha hoo ha yeah. Except I think I watched the anime before that, so I got the joke. Fucking weeb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck it. But other than that, like, any any final thoughts, any last words before we wrap up this this nice little little podcast? Just think. open yourself up to more shows. Watch Gundam, please. We need more people. <laughs> No, you don't. You guys need to stay niche. We, we no. We need more people to watch so that they'll make original shows. You know what? Yeah, they already have a working gun in Japan. Have that, okay? Own that shit. No, it's fucking cool, but they're gonna take it down eventually. <laughs> if the earthquake doesn't do it first. Yeah. Wow. All right, Kyle. This this podcast is exactly. 49 to 50 minutes long. At the end of this, put a five-minute montage on why people should watch Gundam, 
by just using snippets or clips. And if you can do it, we'll keep it in there. And if you can't do it, then nobody's going to watch Gundam. <laughs> Mission accepted. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Castles and Coasters and Gameworks had a lot of anime style arcade games. If you guys don't it's, remember. It's not Gameworks like anymore. Well, well, in Vegas they have Gameworks, stupid. In Vegas, uh, Vegas and Seattle, yes. Okay, so Gameworks is still a thing. But over in uh, Arizona Mills is called Tilt. We're all fucking tilted at this point. Oh. <laughs> Remember they had uh they had the initial D, they had that one cop game it was all in Japanese, and he had to fucking time use, like, crisis. Time crisis. No, right. well, there, there was time crisis. No. There was another one. There was literally police where you had to they ha move your they body. Had an initial D machine. Yeah. Yeah. It's like oh, a, right. it's like a it's like a three D machine. Oh okay. Um, and then back in the day when GameWorks used to have the the original VR headsets, and you could play Tekken or whatnot. For like five dollars, you remember that oh, shit? They have that uh, have a castle and coasters now. Uh, yeah. Um, what was the other one? And then we have places like Round One, where it's just literally a, a Japanese uh, arcade. Yeah, Japanese crane games. They have uh, all the um, rhythm games on the top floor. Bottom floor is crane games and um, arcade machines. So, that's it. Uh, uh, Japanese and anime culture really took over the Western United States. It was just like, <laughs> play this right now. Give us all your money. Well, that's going to call it for the day. Thank you guys so much for joining us in the podcast. Uh, in the comment section down below, definitely uh, tell us what your first anime was. Or, you know, just, just tell us your life story on that. Uh, I do read all the comments. And then I screenshot them and I send them to the guys, especially after you guys roast me and I cry for a few hours. But that's a whole different story. <laughs> I'm DJ PRS. I'm Sombra. I'm laughing. <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the next podcast. Catch you later. Later. Yo, what's poppin' with a show for the beat down? Like and subscribe, up and cut that like button, jump in the air, do do boop boop boop. Boom, back to the ground, stomp on it, land on it, headbutt it, throw it across the street, hit that yo-yo string, it comes right back, uppercut it again, throw it to the ground, underground, go to where the Ninja Turtles are, have Leonardo slash up the like button, and then come back to the page.